Hey guys, 115 Rex back here again doing another Star Wars Movie Heroes figure. And as promised, I have the Qui-Gon Jinn figure. So, here is the packaging as we always go over first. Basic standard 2012 Star Wars figure packaging. I didn't rip it this time. Um, here's a movie still of him when they're attacking the hangar on Naboo for the first time. Here's a product photo of the figure. His affiliation is with the Jedi. And if you really want to read this paragraph, you can pause it right about now. Here's another picture of him. And he does have that silly, childish toy that comes with the figure. It's the grappling hook, the same one that came with Obi-Wan. Um, here's the rest of the wave. we got the Clone Trooper, Episode 3, Phase 2 Armor. Destroyer Droid, Darth Vader, and the Super Battle Droid. So that's basically it for the packaging. And the bubble wrap is right there. You know, just the normal old bubble wrap. And for accessories and packings, it comes with the base or stand, the standard die, the grappling hook that looks very animated for some reason, um, the directions for the Galactic Battle Game for the cards, and then his card. So yeah, now onto the figure. This is probably the best Qui-Gon, again, I've ever had or seen. But again, he does differ from the vintage like the Obi-Wan did. I did notice that he does have the peg hole. So he must have an unignited hilt for his lightsaber with the vintage besides the cloak and something else. But he does have soft goods like Obi-Wan on the sides here. He's got insane amount of articulation. He's got a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed waist, ball jointed elbows, swivel wrists, um, swivel thighs, ball jointed knees, and ball jointed ankles. So yeah, I, do I definitely highly recommend if you see him, do pick him up. And if not him, get the vintage version. Because, I mean, the last Qui-Gon I got was from like 2002, and that one had absolutely like no articulation. And... He was stuck in this pose, and this is a really bad pose, and he never wanted to stay up. I basically rely on his cloak to help him stay up. So yeah, I definitely recommend this figure. He goes perfectly along with Darth Maul and Obi-Wan. And then I'm just going to keep army building these Phase 2 clones because they're absolutely amazing. But anyway, this figure retailed for $8.98. I picked him at, up at Meyer. Like in my previous video, I said Meyer actually does sell Star Wars figures and is updated. And mine is just filled to the brim with everything. So I'm just slowly picking up everything I want. So check that out if you want or can. And I'll see you in the next review.